G'day guys and welcome back to Ados The Great Gaming. So guys, in today's video, we'll be covering my round 12 tips for Indigenous round in the NRL this week. So super excited for this round. Indigenous round is always a fun round. Um, yeah, it's just great to see all the jerseys and uh, to, yeah, pay respect to the Indigenous communities. So let's uh, run through my tips for this week. Starting off with tonight's game, we have Melbourne Storm to defeat the Broncos by 16. I think uh, Storm are just going to be way too strong for the Broncos. Storm have won the past nine games against the Broncos, so I think they'll continue that and make this their 10th win there. Um, yeah, Welch, uh, Christian Welsh being out is a big loss for the Storm, but they've got the players there to cover it. So yeah, I'm, I'm back in Storm in this one by a fair bit. Uh, the next game, the first Friday night game, I have the Cowboys to defeat the Warriors by six points. Uh, Jason Tamalolo being out is a huge loss for the Cowboys, but I, I think they've got the players that can get the job done there. And at uh, Townsville, I think they're gonna be too strong for the Warriors. So yeah, that's the reason I'm back the Cowboys by six points. Uh, the next game is the Tigers and the Dragons. I've, the, I've got the Tigers to defeat the Dragons by eight. I just think uh, West Tigers have too good of a lineup there. Uh, well, a better lineup than the Dragons. Dragons are missing quite a few players, and yeah, I just I just can't see uh, the Dragons getting the win here. So that's why I've backed the Tigers. In the first of the Saturday games, I've backed the Panthers to defeat the Bulldogs by 42. Honestly, I think it could be more than this. I think the Panthers are going to put on an absolute clinic. Losing uh, Kurt Capewell is a pretty big loss for the Panthers. But again, like Storm, they've got plenty of players to cover that position. So yeah, I, I think the Panthers will win this one really easily. Uh, in the second of the Saturday games, I have my Rabbitohs to defeat the Eels by two. Tough take there. I, I don't know if uh, we can get the win there. I know we're going to be a lot better than the last few rounds. We bring back um, Cameron Murray, who is going to be a huge inclusion for us. Um, to say we've missed him is a massive understatement. Murray has just, he just completely changes the dynamic of the team. And when he comes back into the frame, you'll see what I mean. Just, he, he gets those runs down the middle, the quick play of the balls, which then ignite Damian Cook and the halves. So I expect uh, Murray to have a big game tonight and Latrell Mitchell as well. Latrell, Cody and Dane normally aim up in on Indigenous round. So I do think the Rabbitohs will play fairly well this weekend. Um, with the Eels, Regan Campbell-Gillard is out for them. So that is a pretty big loss. While they do have plays to cover that position, I think that's still pretty big. And yeah, the Rabbitohs forward pack could capitalize on that. I am worried about Isaiah Papali'i. He is an absolute weapon, but I think if we contain him, we can get the game won. Yeah, so uh, the last game for Saturday is the Raiders and the Roosters. I've actually backed the Raiders in an upset with this one. Uh, Victor Radley and Angus Crichton being out a huge losses for the Roosters. And the Raiders welcome back um, Jack White and Josh Hodgson and uh, Jordan Rapiner. So yeah, and Sam Williams will take that halfback spot with the departure of George Williams. So George Williams being out is a big loss, but I don't think um, Sam Williams is any really that much worse. Like he, he can come in and really um, guide the game well. I think, yeah, I think George Willi uh, Sam Williams will, will do the job that the Raiders need. He always has. So I think, uh, yeah, Raiders will get up in that one. On to the first of the Sunday games. I've got the Titans defeating the Sharks by eight. I just think with David Fafita coming back and the Sharks having a few injuries and suspension issues, I think the Titans will capitalize on that and we'll get a pretty good win there. Finally, we have the Seagulls and the Knights. I think Manly will be way too good for Newcastle. I've tipped them by 14. 
but I, I wouldn't be surprised if they double that margin. Manly are red hot at the moment, and so is Tommy Trevojevic. Uh, yeah, just give him three Dalian points already. He's he's going to absolutely have a field day against the Knights. I'm going to back him for a hat trick here. I think uh, Manly will be way too good for Newcastle. All right, guys, I think that pretty much wraps up this week's footy action. Um, haven't been doing that great in the tipping, but hopefully this week I can get a perfect round and turn that, turn my luck around. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Please do drop a like on the video. It really does help. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And yeah, guys, thank you all so much. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.